Welcome to our first ever car review for our new show, Under the Hood. It's a beautiful day out here in Southern California, and I'm going to be reviewing this beautiful car right here. So let's get into it. As you guys can see, this car has a really aggressive look. It is a beautiful kit. This is the Varus wide body kit. It is a type B kit. And as you guys can see, it's beautiful. The kit does come with these beautiful canards, full carbon fiber. And also to match the canards, it has a full carbon fiber whip that is just beautiful. He has these black housing specky headlights, which add a lot of contrast to the car. And it really flows with all the black accents that Gio has on his car. Now, if you guys thought the front end was enough carbon fiber, check this out. Even the fender, this air duct right here, this duct is carbon fiber. This whole piece for that goes along the side skirt is carbon fiber. But now let's talk about wheels. Giovanni here has Volks TE37. They're 18 by 11 with the plus 12 offset with this beautiful gold finish. It has, does have R1 concept drilled and slotted rotors to match his entire suspension setup. You can never ever go wrong with a classic Volks TE37. They look good on any car. Now let's talk about the best thing about this car and that's the booty of the car. As you guys can see, we have a big wing gang, battle arrow wing, that looks so good with the rear of this car. Just to top it off, we have this blue tip spec the exhaust that just sounds really well with this car. I highly recommend it. Make sure to check out Spec D as well. Now, another crazy thing about this vehicle is this is not the factory red. This is actually Lamborghini red. And this red pops compared to any red I've ever seen and it looks so good on this vehicle. Enough about me talking about this car. Let's take it for a spin. Alright guys, so right now we are currently in Giovanni's Evo 10 GSR. First impressions, this car is so easy to drive. The only thing is the clutch is not very easy to get used to. Um, I'm not really sure what kind of stage or what kind of clutch he exactly has in the car, but it's definitely, it's, it's, it's not easy to get used to, that's for damn sure. But besides that, I mean, downshifting, you know, rev matching, it's, it's a breeze, easy to drive. The only thing about this Evo 10, guys, the bucket seats that come with the car, I'm a short guy, and these bucket seats sit, sit really, really low, so it's a little bit hard for me to see over the dash a little and see my surroundings, but besides that, it's really easy to drive. On this car, he has a, a Varus wide body kit, which is a beautiful kit. It looks amazing on this car. Let's see if I can get this for you guys. This picks up, it's so smooth. It is tuned for E85. Giovanni did tell me it does run about 430 horsepower uh, to the wheels, and I'm pretty sure that's just on uh, normal, you know, 91, 91 you pump gas, I don't need gas. I can only imagine what it's running on 85. The, the ride of this car feels like stock. It is very, very smooth. It's not too low, it's not too high. It, 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 it's just the way Giovanni has this car set up is absolutely perfect, and, and I, I'm just, I just can't believe how smooth it drives. It's, it's amazing. If you guys compare an Evo 9 to this Evo 10, this car has way much more space. So spacious. I mean, the Evo 9 is really, really tight. It's really shallow. It's really cluttered, and this car is just, you know, Mitsubishi nailed it. This, this, I mean, everything's in front of you. Even on your display, it has everything digital. It tells you your, how much fuel you'll have, your temp. The bucket seats on this car are the original bucket seats. Um, obviously, they're not too crazy, but you know they do have the bolsters here, so they do hold you in place. You know when you're, you know, trying to go really fast on corners, they hold you in place. They're really comfortable. My only complaint is if you're a short guy like me, they sit really low. But besides that, it's it's a it's a very very comfortable. driving this car you are definitely breaking necks you are all eyes are on you you guys bet I'm trying not to stall right now because that's the last thing I want to do is embarrass, embarrass myself out here in public streets driving this beautiful car 
Now this car is a GSR model that does have a five speed. Um, I believe the most common of, of this car, this model come with, you know, the paddle shifters. I'm a fan of the five speed. It, it really gives you, you know, that race car feeling. It, it's hands on and, and you just can't beat an H pad, and, you know, gearbox. It's so smooth, the downshift, heel and toe is a breeze. I mean, I have no complaints whatsoever. Oh man, this car drives so easy. It's, it's so grippy too. I mean, obviously it's all wheel drive, so it grips to the floor with no problems. You feel so safe. You know you're not gonna lose control. And this car has a punch. This car is definitely not your average Evo. Riders on the storm Riders on the storm